So this is the bracelet that I made before, and this is what you're going to need to make the bracelet, some scissors, and then you're going to need some shoestring, and I have a glow in the dark one, which is pretty cool, but you're going to need some shoestring, and then you're going to need a straw that's clear, or else you're not going to be able to do this, so I want it to be clear. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take your shoestring out of your container you came in. And you're only going to need one shoelace. Only one of them. So you can make two bracelets with one pack. And so, what you want to do is just straighten it completely out, flat over your table or whatever you're laying it on and you're also going to need some tape to tape it down to the table just the very top of the shoelace and you can tape that to the table so that this process will be much easier to do So now we're going to start marking the straw and you want to get a ruler and you want to go on centimeters and that's where you do that and you want to start at one, not zero, or the beginning of your ruler. And you want to make lines with a pin and you want it to be dark but not too dark nor too light. and. And every centimeter, you make that line there and just keep on going until you reach the end of your straw. It doesn't matter how big or small your straw is. You probably need a couple of them just in case if it's extra small. But we have one that's from Arby's. They have the best. So, especially because of the shakes, you know. But you just mark it all the way to the end and either the beginning of the straw or the end will have a piece that you don't need to use and that's the part that you can just throw away or use for anything else any other craft but and now we're almost done and we will start cutting them soon once you're just about done with your straw marking it you can start cutting it and these straws are very bouncy so you want to be careful you might want to hold them um, my grandma has a dog and we're doing this at her house so we have to be very careful not to drop them on the floor but I just am holding them with this technique Hopefully you can see. So I'm just cutting away and there's plenty of them to cut. And you only need like one straw. And I just used the leftovers from the last one I was wearing. The pink one that I made. And then I just took some of this from the straw because I uh, messed up the end. And so... Now, that's all I'm pretty much going to cut, and we can get started looping, and we're going to get to the hard part now. But, <clears throat> it's not exactly hard. As soon as you learn it, you know how to do it. So, you don't need that, like a specific um, number of them. Depends on how big or small your wrist is. So... We're going to start taking it and we're going to start. I'm going to show you two and then I'll show you me making the whole thing. So you take it and you loop 
and you pull it through the straw all the way close to the top. And so you want to go all the way as far as you can with a little space. Now what you do is you want to turn it. Make sure you turn it sideways so the straw can loop through and you want to hold it like that. And it should appear like this. It should go straight through like that. And you don't want to move it. So don't ever move it. Just keep it sideways. And you always will start with the left one. So I'll show you one more time. Just we'll come. Use the left one. Through the left. And we want to go this way. Turn it. And then we go through, and you hold that, like pinch it like that, and then you get the loop of it, and it doesn't even take that long as soon as you learn the rhythm of it. <coughs> and this is the glow on the dark one, and by the way, this was kind of hard to loop because the glow in the dark material, it was kind of hard. The pink one was really easy though. It was good. This one was easy to do too. It was just a little rougher. Especially when we get to the ends. So, I got a few more to go. This one I had to cut because it was too big. But, now you can stop here if your wrist is that small or keep on going. It's your decision. So, just keep on going. And this is like a green color, like greenish yellowish color. And it's just a very odd color. You can like take this while you're going somewhere at night maybe. I don't know, like blue at the zoo, but so you and you can also make the loops any way you want, like how you tie your shoes and rearrange them and stuff like that. And you can change them small and big or whatever you like. But now I'm trying it on. And now we're going to start getting to the part where you might need a parent gar or a guardian. Or my grandma, which is a guardian. But you, first you twist it. You make like a twist knot. Like how she's doing right there. And you want to make two of them, so you want to make sure you have extra room. And if you know you have a really um, big wrist, you can get a longer type of shoelace. So she got one knot there. And see, this is also shows you how rough it is. And so, sometimes you might have to take the knot out and take a loop out and fix it and just tweak it up but that's okay because it's so easy and simple it doesn't really matter just little small stuff like that but so she got it on there and what that big knot there is gonna do is it's gonna fit into the top hole and it's gonna keep the bracelet together and you can like take it on and off over and over again so we're gonna take the bottom pieces off and then what you do is you get a lighter, any type of lighter, and what you're going to do is you're going to light the tip of it. And you're trying to get them to stick together so that it doesn't just look like that, so it can look nice. And you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but... Just leave a little bit left of the end piece because you don't want it to mess up the knot if you do it too close. So she just did it right there. Pretty close, but not too close. So this one has like a little burn piece on it, but that's fine. And so this did not stick well either. I would not use this one 
because it was making everything far too difficult. But it still definitely worked, and I still like that one. But I like my pink one better because it turned out better. And it didn't have a burnt mark on it, but... Yeah, so that's what you do for the end of it. And you might have to do it a couple of times, depending on the fabric you have for it. So there it is. And it looks long, but it can fit her wrist and my wrist, too, I think. But we had to adjust it. We just did it off camera because it would take too long. So see how it's the big loop like that? We changed it because that's just too much. So now here's after we changed it, and now she's trying it on. And I'm doing this with my left hand, and she's doing it with her right. It's really hard and difficult. But it looks nice and cool. And once again, you can always change the loop size. You can make big, small. You can make patterns, shapes, maybe even squigglies. And me and my grandma were also thinking you could use beads. But that's pretty much it, guys.